In today's IB history lesson, we're going to answer the question, how did the Berlin blockade contribute to the dawn of the Cold War? Let's get started. After World War II, a new conflict arose, the Cold War. Now, once Nazi Germany had been defeated, the Allied powers did not remain allies. Although Berlin had been previously divided before the end of the war between the British, French, United States, and the Soviets, it was still a part of Soviet-occupied Germany that Stalin wanted to keep control over. The tension from control over Berlin was almost enough to create another world war in itself. However, the Allies were determined to keep hold of their sectors of the city. This culminated in the Berlin Airlift, in which thousands of tons of supplies were flown in daily into Berlin to defy the Soviet blockade and prevent the residents from starving. The Berlin blockade set the stage for a new era of international relations and presented a snapshot of the turmoil that was going to follow World War II, aka the Cold War. So why was the blockade implemented in the first place? After World War II, there were very differing viewpoints on what the future of Germany could look like. Stalin wanted Germany to be weakened, to be used to help expand the USSR, and to help push communism throughout Europe. Meanwhile, the USA, Britain, and France wanted Germany as a democratic country in order to act as a buffer between the other Eastern Europe communist states. As a demonstration of Soviet power, Stalin cut off all land access to Berlin for the Allies in the Berlin blockade on the 24th of June, 1948. Essentially, the idea was to starve the West Berliners into submission, as they would no longer be able to survive without supplies from the West. So how did they do it? There were very limited options for the Allies to access the people of West Berlin without accidentally causing another huge conflict or even a war. Eventually, it was decided that supplies to West Berliners would be flown in or airlifted. Now, many people, including Stalin, thought that this was an impossible task and would never work. The Allies calculated that in order to get enough supplies to the West Berliners, they needed to have a plane flying in approximately every 90 seconds. That's maybe two or three plane landings during the duration of this video alone. In the first week, around 90 tons of supplies were flown in per day. As the Allies were able to secure more planes and gain some more global support, they were able to bring in around 1,000 tons per day. The highest record was 13,000 tons of supplies in a 24-hour time period. So what was the impact of all of this? Press that was pro-Soviet mocked the airlift and made many claims that it would shortly fail. Whereas for the Western Allies, this airlift was used as a big propaganda tool that was very important at the time. The success of the Allies with this airlift was embarrassing for the Soviet Union, and around a year later, in April of 1949, Moscow announced that negotiations could take place to end the blockade. Germany and Berlin remained a source of tension during the Cold War, and during the blockade, Europe was cleanly divided into two very opposing views. In April of 1949, the USA, Britain, and France announced the formation of the German Federal Republic, or West Germany. NATO was formed in 1949, and in response to this, the Warsaw Pact of Alliance was formed by the other communist countries that came together in 1955. I hope this was helpful and that you get a better idea of how the Berlin blockade helped contribute to the dawn of the Cold War. If this was helpful, feel free to leave a comment down below, and if you'd like to follow us on other socials, we are at Vade Tutoring on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and anywhere else. Hope this was helpful. Bye!